There are a lot of different currencies in Pokemon Unite and it can be pretty difficult to understand how to obtain all of them and more importantly how to spend them. Whether you're completely free to play or just looking to spend as little real life money as possible to get what you need, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Yokopa Joe and I stream Pokemon Unite over on Twitch. Today, I'm going to show you all the free ways to get everything you need from this game, as well as explain the most efficient ways to spend your real life money to make it happen a bit faster. It's honestly pretty complicated the way everything ties together, but don't worry, I've done all the calculations for you and there is a way to get everything you need from just one purchase. Let's start by going over each of the different currencies. First, you've got your EOS coins, the most basic currency. You get these from completing challenges, level up rewards, and after every match, you get a pretty small amount. I was only getting 40 coins for wins and 20 for losses in the normal 10 minute mode. There is a weekly cap of 2100 coins that can be earned for completing games, but the coins earned from challenges and leveling up will not count towards that 2100 weekly limit. You can also get a pretty fat chunk of coins for completing all of the game's tutorials. EOS coins can be used to purchase some essentials, Pokemon and held items the only two things that you absolutely need to enjoy this game. Held items can be purchased by EOS tickets as well. These tickets are earned for free from challenges and level up rewards. Other than for buying held items, EOS tickets can also be used to acquire certain trainer cosmetics and item enhancer tokens. These item enhancer tokens are one of the most important currencies in the game because they are what will let you upgrade your held items. Once you've purchased the Pokemon and items that you like, the main way to progress in the game is by upgrading your items. It costs hundreds if not thousands of item enhancers to fully upgrade one item, so you'll probably never be done grinding for these bad boys. Therefore, you will never be done grinding for these purple EOS tickets because they are one of the best ways to get more enhancer tokens. If you are free to play, then in order to conserve as many EOS tickets as possible for later use on item enhancer tokens, I recommend that you purchase both Pokemon and held items using only your EOS coins. It will take longer to get the items and Pokemon that you want, but it will benefit you in the long run. If you're free to play and just care about making things go by as fast as possible, then it's okay to spend your coins on Pokemon and your EOS tickets on held items. But I'm just saying that's not what's best in the long run. EOS coins, EOS tickets, and item enhancers can all be earned for free and they are the only currencies you need because they are what will allow you to get Pokemon, items, and item upgrades. But what if you want to grease up the wheels with a little real life money and get everything faster? That's where EOS gems, the battle pass, and energy rewards come in. The most straightforward purchase would be EOS gems. For a few hundred of these pretty full premium gems, you can purchase any of the playable Pokemon, freeing you up to spend your EOS coins on battle items instead, and then put all of your EOS tickets toward item enhancer tokens. If you want to spend as little real life money as possible to accelerate your game progress, then this is how I would recommend going about it. Another way you can spend your premium EOS gems is on the Battle Pass. Unlocked at Trainer Level 5, the Battle Pass gives us a bunch of free tickets and item enhancers. But if you pay for the Battle Pass, you'll get 600 more EOS tickets every 10 levels for a total of 4800 extra EOS tickets if you complete the Battle Pass. Ignoring the cosmetic rewards, the battle pass is a slightly less efficient way of turning your real life coins into in-game coins. By using your gems to purchase Pokemon, you save a little over 2,000 coins for every US dollar spent. Through the battle pass, you would save a little under 2,000 coins for every US dollar spent. 
So, for maximum efficiency, you should spend your real money to get whatever Pokemon you want first through spending your Aos gems, and if you want to push your progress even more, then you should purchase the Battle Pass to acquire Aos tickets and use them to get item enhancers and level up your items. And we still haven't even gotten into the energy reward system, but before we go there, I need you to go to my Twitch stream and click that follow button. I just stayed up all night playing Pokemon Unite with new and old friends and we all had such a blast. We've already had so many epic and funny moments and I can't wait to share even more of that awesomeness on my stream. Unfortunately, I haven't slept since that stream because I wanted to get this video out for you guys so that we could all know what's the best way to spend the free and paid currencies in Pokemon Unite. I had to get this video out before too many people make mistakes. I deserve a Twitch follow for that, right? Maybe even a subscription? Eh? Eh? Okay, I had to try. The energy reward system is really fun when you use it for its free functionality, but I do not recommend paying to get more out of it unless you seriously just have a ton of money to throw at this game. The way the free version works is after every game you gain a little bit of energy. Once you've accumulated 100 energy, you get to roll the dice and randomly earn something for free from the list of potential rewards. You could get anything from a trainer cosmetic to a coveted item enhancer. Due to the randomness of the rewards, I do not recommend spending money on the energy reward system as a method of progression. You should only spend money on this if you specifically want something like the Talonflame skin, which is currently only obtainable through this system. Okay, but if you do want to spend money on this lottery system, then here's how it works. Normally, you would have a weekly limit of 1400 energy that you could earn for 14 pulls per week. You can spend 200 Aos gems for access to another 1,000 energy or 10 more pulls. You could also spend gems on energy booster tanks. Energy booster tanks basically allow you to earn more energy per match and that extra energy comes from a separate source of energy than your normal energy tank. Your energy booster tank will only work if you have energy in your normal energy tank. So if you purchase an energy booster when you are already out of your normal energy, then your energy booster will do nothing for you until your normal tank gets refilled. Both the energy booster tank and the 4x energy booster tank will only give you access to 1000 more energy. The 4x booster just lets you burn through that energy faster and get to your pulls faster, but they both only get you 10 extra pulls total. If you got lost with the whole energy tank thing, then honestly, don't worry about it. I don't think anyone should really be spending that much money on the system anyway. But for the people who still want to spend money on this gambling system, then here it is one more time as simply as I can put it. Once you run out of your free weekly energy, purchase an extra energy tank. If you want even more rewards, then purchase an energy booster tank, but only if you already have normal energy in the tank. Otherwise, that energy booster is not going to do anything. Just ignore the 4x energy booster because it doesn't give you any extra rewards, it just lets you get the rewards faster. The biggest brain way to spend your money on this system would be to purchase an energy booster while you still have your free weekly energy in the tank, because then you won't have to pay for an extra energy tank to get use out of that energy booster. The biggest brain play of all is to just only use the energy system for its free functionality. Instead, just spend your money on purchasing Pokemon and the Battle Pass, and after that, just enjoy the energy reward system for free. I feel like I've seen this gacha energy system in Pokemon Masters or something like that, but I'm not really too sure. I didn't play Pokemon Masters that much. Let me know down in the comments if you know where this energy reward system has been before. I know people are going to have questions not just about this crazy energy reward system, but also about Aos coins, tickets, and everything else. So don't be afraid to ask down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna go to sleep now. 
Just kidding, I have to edit this video now. Man, I really love this game, don't I? <laughs> Sheesh! I thought it looked like I was a zombie. I guess I just always look like this.